Jeremy Clarkson, 62, has been promoting the most recent series of his prime video series Clarkson's Farm, but has come under fire for his comment to a barrister in one episode. The former Top Gear host has now responded to the criticism, admitting that if he knew of the barrister's dyslexia the exchange would not have been televised. The second season of the Amazon Prime series was released last week, with one episode showing Jeremy walking out of a meeting about planning permission to extend Diddley Squat Farm. On his way out, the host was heard telling the barrister Charles Streeton to learn to spell. After the installment was released, the latter shared an open letter in which he spoke about his dyslexia and explained how it had impacted his career. He also added that he did not expect Jeremy's remark to be televised. In a statement shared with The Times, Jeremy responded, It's great that Mr. Streeton has overcome his dyslexia to such an extent that he's able to send such a well-spelt letter from Jamaica. It's just a shame he chose not to mention his learning difficulty when we met at the planning meeting more than a year ago. Because if he had, the exchange would not have been televised. This is not the first time Jeremy has come under fire for his comments, with the presenter receiving widespread backlash for his remarks against Meghan Markle. In a recent Sun column, Jeremy described how he disliked the Duchess of Sussex on a cellular level. He also alluded to a scene from Game of Thrones when he admitted he dreamed of the day she'd be made to parade naked through the streets while crowds threw lumps of excrement at her. The newspaper and Jeremy both released apologies for the piece, with Ipso also announcing an investigation into the case last week after a record-breaking number of complaints. Later, Jeremy admitted his language had been disgraceful and he was profoundly sorry. The statement read, One of the strange things I've noticed in recent times is that whenever an MP or a well-known person is asked to apologize for something, no matter how heartfelt or profound that apology may be, it's never enough for the people who called for it in the first place. So I'm going to try and buck the trend this morning with an apology for the things I said in a Sun column recently about Meghan Markle. I really am sorry. All the way from the balls of my feet to the follicles on my head. This is me putting my hands up. It's a mea culpa with bells on. Usually. I read what I've written to someone else before filing, but I was home alone on that fateful day, and in a hurry. So when I'd finished, I just pressed send. And then, when the column appeared the next day, the landmine exploded. Prince Harry responded to the comments against his wife, as well as discussing accountability. He concluded the statement. It's no longer a case of me asking for accountability, but at this point, the world is asking for accountability, and the world is asking for some form of a comment from the monarchy but the silence is deafening. To put it mildly, everything to do with my wife, after six years, they haven't said a single thing. Good.